Well, since, uh, since we were kids uh, in the high school, um, Colegio Loyola, uh, we belong to uh, a group that do backpacking trips, uh, like a Boy Scout type. Uh, since very young age, we've been going to overnight trips uh, to cave, uh, to the countryside, and not to the Dominican mountains, uh, the highest mountain there, Pico Duarte, uh, 3,000 uh, 3, meters. It, so that become our our little Everest for us. Uh, we start, I start personally uh, climbing when I was uh, 11, 12 years old. I've been been doing that since. Um, that teach me to love the nature, to love the mountains, to love the view from out there. And, and we start developing the, the taste for, for that type of activity. And then we expand and uh, start going outside the country. And, and, and that's what we become the mountaineers that we are now from that little you know, Caribbean island called Dominican Republic. No llegamos al Everest eh, como una decisión que se tomó en un día, sino después de años de mucha preparación y de muchos viajes. Eh, empezamos a hacer montañas en Venezuela, en Ecuador, en Perú, luego en, Bol en Bolivia. Decidimos poner la bandera a los puntos más altos del planeta, el proyecto Siete Cimas, Seven Summit Project, de poner eh, la bandera dominicana en la cima más alta de cada continente, en la Concagua, en América del Sur, Kilimanjaro, en, en África, Elbrus en Europa, Denali en América del Norte, y le tocó el turno a Everest. O sea que fue un proyecto que se fue haciendo por años, de decisión, de voluntad y de preparación también. Well, Mount Everest is a, it, it's a very difficult mountain, not only for the physical aspect, also the psychological aspect. When you climb Mount Everest, you need to be prepared, you need to have the experience necessary to, to summit that mountain. And also, you need to be prepared for all the changes that happen um, that you don't have control of. For a mountain like Everest, you do not, you do not take it lightly, you, you buy and you get the best equipment in the market because the equipment is your life at that, you know, at that altitude. You have the better suits, the better uh, gloves, the better boots, um, because one of those equipment can be the difference between life and death or between the difference between you lost the fingers or you keep your fingers. So it took about a year of preparation just to be ready to initiate the expedition. Um, after we were, we were trained, uh, we get all the equipment and uh, with everything we need, then we start the Everest expedition, the Dominican Everest expedition uh, 2011. It was, uh, was totally different what we ever seen before in other mountains. Um, you see the expeditions or the trips in a small scale. Everest, everything is a big scale. Our group was about 28 climbers, but not, not only the climbers, we have 125 support personnel in the background. Sherpas, uh, cooks, uh, doctors, uh, porters. Total 125 people supporting those 28 climbers. Uh, we use about I believe 70 tons of equipment and food. 70 tons, that's, that's a pretty sizable uh, weight. And everything that had to be bring to the mountain had to be bring or in the back of some somebody, a porter, or in the back of a jack. So uh, they start bringing equipment in February. They start open the base camp in February, and we will not show up there until April. So they spent two months just bringing equipment, bringing equipment, until we got there. And all that would not be possible without uh, this outfit that, that we found, uh, probably one of the best companies today in the market. And, and, and the work of all those Sherpas and potters. 
So after we get to the mountain, that's the second part. Uh, now we have to do the physical effort. We have to go through the places where, you know, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> And, and then we have to use all our knowledge, our technical knowledge, we need to use all our experience in order, number one, to, to get to the next camp and number two, to survive. Uh, there are many instances where you really find uh, a delicate situation, life and death situation type of thing. But, uh, but we overcome, we overcome all that and we really, feel like we accomplished something. Um, we get to the summit, it was, it was hard, and I, I, cannot, I cannot say there was an easy day, but, but it was very fulfilling. I can't talk about the cima, because I didn't do the cima of Everest. In a mountain, one planifies one thing, pero puede suceder otra y hay que ser flexible y hay que adaptarse a lo que sea que pueda pasar. Lo importante es que la meta de la expedición se cumpliera y la meta era poner la bandera en la cima. La sensación personal de, de ver la, la bandera en la cima yo no la puedo decir. Yo sí puedo personalmente testificar la sensación de, de saberse parte de, de un equipo que logró una meta y es muy grande porque fue una meta que duramos dos años trabajando y más de diez años soñando eh, y la meta no era más que un mensaje la meta era enviar un mensaje a, a la juventud dominicana de que podemos como, como pueblo hacer grandes cosas de que no importa qué tan imposible parezca algo si nos unimos si nos ponemos de acuerdo si trabajamos si nos sacrificamos podemos alcanzar cualquier meta por más imposible que sea con sacrificio con esfuerzo nada es imposible got to the summit of mount everest uh, was was a great achievement uh, but by any means is is the last mountain no uh, was is the tallest mountain and um, we feel very proud and feel very proud to to be the first dominican that summit everest but there's more mountains out there. Um, not only for, for us as a, client, as a mountaineers, but also for the Dominicans. We need to expand uh, our horizons in the mountaineering community. Uh, we need to bring the flag, our tricolor, how we call them, uh, to, other, to other summits. It's, it's a little illogic trying to climb Pico Duarte a couple times and then want to go to Everest. Yes. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's actually dangerous. You know, somebody approach you, say, I want to climb on Everest. Um, with our experience, I'll say that's, that's probably a death wish. So you need to have the experience. And the only, the only way to get experience is going to the mountain. Uh, there's no books for days, no, not even DVDs. Mm -hmm. <laughs>